Hey fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, a quick and dirty tour of the fish room. Grab your healthy snack and beverage, stand by. Hi right, fishy folks, before we get started with the tour, I just wanna talk about a couple things. One, michaelsfishroom.com, mutt guppies. Buy five, get one free. That's right, folks. Five, get six. Mutt guppies are on sale. Just like last year, my mutt guppy production outside was outstanding and I have too many. I gotta get rid of them. michaelsfishroom.com, order five, I will send you six. No additional charge. Uh, speaking of Michael's Fish Room, if you don't want muck guppies, check it out anyway. Just go check and look. Let me know what you think about the new website, making changes still, and uh, adding new fish, not weekly, but you know, we have some new fish going. We have some fish we're sold out of, so. I know I'm sold out of a lot of plecos, and some of that is I'm actually sold out, and some of them is I decided to stop shipping them because I wanna, I wanna try to breed them, so next year I have more. Like, that's the thing with the calico guppies, so. Um, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for this channel and uh, gently boop the notification bell so you know if I go live. I know a lot of you have been asking me to do another live stream. Uh, I may or may not do it soon. You never know. I just, time is a, is a factor. You know what I'm saying? I just don't have it. So uh, let's get into it. Quick tour of the fish room. It is a disaster. I know it. I don't care. It's a working fish room. And uh, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And uh, check out that website, michaelsfishing.com. See you soon. All right, fishy folks, let's take a quick tour of the fish room. This is gonna be an in-depth long tour, just a quick update. Uh, first of all, it is a disaster. It is a working fish room. I've been doing a lot of things down here, which I'll go over in a minute. Um, you can see I have a ton of uh, Zis Never Clog air filters from Aquarium Co-op over there. I have camera stuff. I got a shipment from a breeder in yesterday. There's the bucket from yesterday. Some really nice airline from Cobalt. I'll go over that in a sec. So it's a working fish room. You know, I, I don't spend three days cleaning it before I film. I'm pretty upfront about that. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. My tanks appear dirty. There's mom. There's leftover food from this morning. I don't care. All right, let's go over what's going on. First, say hi to Indy. Hi, Indy. He's a Jack Russell. He's about 14. He's old. So this tub and that tub are mutt guppies from outside, from the pool. Um, the video I just released, I'll put a link to that up top as well. And um, this one is pretty much empty. I've been scooping a couple scoops a day and putting them in the 90-gallon tank over there. I'm trying to let the beneficial bacteria catch up. Um, so we don't overwhelm the system. This one is still pretty much full. Of course, you can't see many of the guppies because of the, the water and stuff. Um, I'll be getting some underwater footage of, of the 90 gallon for this video because it's really cool. I, I've been, I've been, I come down here sometimes and just look at that tank for, you know, 10, 15 minutes if I need to calm down or something. It's, it's fantastic. Let's just take a look. I mean, the glass is dirty. I'm sorry, but, you know, working fish room. But look, I mean, just look at how many guppies there are. There's got to be... 500 guppies in there at least. Now some of them are fry, but still, there's a lot of guppies. A lot of floating plants. Um, now let me tell you about the floating plants. So these are all the plants from outside that I, I brought inside. And when I had Chewy, rip Chewy, I would take a clump of plants from a tank, you know, try to get all the fry out, but in case I missed something, I would just put it in Chewy's tank for a day or two, and if there were any fry, they would leave the, the clump, and he would eat them as a tender and delicious snack. I can't do that now, I don't have Chewy. The only thing I have in the fish room left that'll eat guppy fry are these angels. So that's what I do, that's what I've been doing for the past week. I take a clump in here, leave it in there for a day or so, and uh, they eat what's there. Look, at these, some of these angels are really nice. Uh, they don't really like this in the way, so I'm just going to move it out. But some of these angels are really nice. Uh, I'm really happy with these guys. I only have a couple left. They're on the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Take a look if you're interested. Um, all right, let's go back to mutt guppies. Anyway, so the mutt guppies, what I do is I take the, the floating plants out. And then 
I put them in there for a while and they'll eat any fry and then I can put you know a clump of floating plants in other tanks so you know like here these are the Santa Claus guppies I got as fry I, I don't know they're they're not I mean they're nice guppies but they're not really great looking Santa Claus guppies to me that's just me these red dragons that I got in that import order are really nice very healthy very prolific very nice um, we got these these green lace guppies I had them in the fish room for a while no no real fry that I can see so a little disappointed I may uh, actually pull a trio or so out and try to breed them in another tank but um yeah what else is going on in the fish room ah my friend and very good customer Ben asked for some video of the half black red rose guppies here they are what is a little cloudy from uh from feeding and I think we got a little bit of a bacterial bloom going on but uh these guys are really nice really uh really hardy as well and um, a little smaller than the, the half blacks that I used to stock. But, uh, you know, growing nice, pretty healthy. Here are some tiger half moons with about 100 fry I got from a, a, a breeder. Uh, she sent them to me yesterday and they are doing very well. Um, what else? Oh, some red mosaics here. There's some blue eyed lemons in here growing out. We got the tuxedo koi's. These still aren't on the website because I'm still not convinced they're healthy. Uh, I lost one a couple days ago. I've lost one every few days. So I've, I've uh, re I started treating for Kalmanaris again just because. Uh, so, you know, that, that treatment is adding salt. And uh, I use Sulfoplex, a sulfa-based um, medicine is what you need. Um, I'll put links down below for the medicines I use and uh, I'll put a link for how to treat common aris. I did a video with my marine biologist friend from Australia, Norm. Norm has a great Facebook page called Cookies Fish Room as well as a new YouTube page called Cookies Fish Room. So check that out. Um, what else? What do we got going on over here? Oh, we got some bigger leopards and some super red mutt. Uh, plecos. Check these guys out. These are some mutt guppies from my friend Joel that he gave me. They are gorgeous and growing very nice as well as some black mollies. Just letting these black mollies grow out a little bit longer. I'm going to put them upstairs in my angelfish tank to help with uh, algae. I have some um, some other fish up there eating algae but I think these guys will help as well. Um, the plan is to take the mutts in here put them in the mutt guppy tank uh, take this tank down and add three more tens up there. I just have to get motivated. Uh, Japanese blue guppies. What else? Oh, look at these guys. These are from the, the, the tub outside. They're mutts, but they're like purple and pink. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these. I, I'm, I may sell them as purple and pink mutts. Maybe. I'm not sure. Because they, they don't really breed true, uh, for sure. You can see there's, you know, like there's that male, which looks different than that male, which looks different than that male, but they're all kind of similar, so. Metal Black Lace, these guys will be available on the website probably in the spring. I, I want the colony to grow. We got Black Moscows. These may also uh, be available before spring. Ooh, look at that red poop. We fed some red food this morning. Let me, let me show you what I fed here. This morning I fed this. I got this from my buddy Keith at KGE Aquatics. CS Pro Flake, uh, Spirulina, and Calanus. I don't, I don't really know what it is. He just said try it. Um, it's pretty good. Eh, I mean, I, I have a lot of food, so uh, you can see all the food I have here, down here, over here, up here. Really like the cobalt shrimp and veggie pellets. Got that from uh, Super Cichlids. Came in the other day. Got my new Super Cichlid swag. Uh, Lisa sent me a, a nice t-shirt. We got the Cobalt Ultra Worm Medley. Uh, these veggie flakes from Sarah, I bought, uh, actually I was given a bunch of stuff from a friend. She's moving and she had a ton of food. So a lot of the food you see like, like that and this freeze-dried Cyclops was hers, this was hers, this was hers, this was hers. She made this super fry blend i don't know what it is um i don't remember she she might have told me but it's really good stuff and this i really like the brine and mysa shrimp mix the fish really like that too but um oh and she had a ton of this fry grow uh grow fry starter from nls there's like three of them that's pretty good stuff too but then of course you know i have the food that i've always had the uh the extreme cat scrapers they love 
the uh, extreme community crave they love. We're almost out of the turbo guppy food. See, my, my buddy from Sweden, hopefully he'll send me some more. I'm gonna send him some, some food as well from the States that he can't get there, so. All right, folks, what else we got over here? What else we got? That's really not even good English. What else do we have going on? Uh, long fin calicos. I've taken these off the website because I want to try to breed them. So over the next six months, you know, between now and spring, hopefully we'll get some fry out of them. We have a poop ton of albino uh, plecos down here. And the red snakeskins, look how big those females are. Just ginormous. The, uh, the platinum guppies, hopefully in the spring, these will be ready for me to sell. I'll have enough pairs to sell we got the pink flamingos over here doing well speaking of pink flamingos here are some pink flamingos that were outside they're doing great i still haven't caught that blue female the female with the blue mosaic tail i got to get her out of there we got these purple grass guppies if you remember i got these about maybe a year year and a half ago and uh i thought i lost them i didn't lose them um i thought they weren't pretty true they are i mean they all look like that male I don't know if you would consider that purple grass or not, but they look great and there's a ton of fry in there. I may offer these purple grass guppies up for sale before I shut down for the winter. Um, I'm not really sure because I do have quite a fry available to grow out. So they might be up on the website soon. Take a look. We got these purple mosaics, purple Dumbo mosaics growing out. Uh, these are not on the website. Don't ask me. They're not there yet. The other ones that we that I've shown before are in this tank with the purple airline from Cobalt. Love the airline. You can see a brand new sponge filter from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, love the Aquarium Co-op filters. In all honesty, Corey sent me this one for free and I loved it. And uh, then I'm gonna be redoing the whole fish room. My whole fish room is gonna be Aquarium Co-op sponge filters, Aquarium Co-op um, airline, Cobalt airline, and then the Zis never clog air stones that go inside i love these filters they're they're coarse so they don't clog up they're sized right the tubes are the right height um they are green so they don't always look dirty or attract algae but uh i'll do when i do the whole fish room rebuild or redo i'll, I'll go into depth about the filters and airline and stuff like that but you can see i have the pleco feeder here which i love i got that at at uh kg aquatics um so these are the purple, the original purple guppies that I got. Um, I did lose uh, all the adults. Um, I think this tank had commonaris as well because this tank had it. So maybe it splashed in here, but everybody is healthy. Haven't had any deaths in about two weeks. Uh, it's a nasty disease, folks. And no matter how I try to be careful, sometimes I spread it. Um, I am, to be honest, I am considering buying 60 nets and uh, attaching them to every tank. I'm not sure I'm gonna go that far, but it's possible. Anyway, folks, that's just a quick tour of the fish room. Uh, we have some AquaClear filters just helping clean up some of the moam. This one I unplugged because I'm fat and I, I hit the cord, but hope you guys liked the quick update. Quick and dirty, just how I like it. And uh, any questions, let me know. Hope you guys have a great day.
Uh, oh, check these guys out. These are uh, mutt guppies from my friend um, Joe, and uh, there are some, some, uh, yeah, that's a brain fart, folks. And they're, my whole fish room is going to be the Cobalt Airline Aquarium Cobot. Co aquarium Cobalt? No, that's not even a thing. You can see I have the Plico. Plico? It's a working air room. Not a working air room.